The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Bowser Chapman on this Tuesday, Tuesday the 20th of February. Ooh, zipping through February so quickly. And actually, I think from now on, we don't have all these public holidays for quite a while. Meantime, let's just quickly look at the Dow. The Dow is, uh, it was down in the futures quite a bit earlier. Now it's down 30 in the cash. Walmart helped it a lot to rally. It's a, a down 28 to 38,598, holding quite nicely. S&P, let's get right to this. S&P right now is down uh, 30 at 49.75. Got that dreaded H pattern. Look at this arch formation that's forming. But that's young. <laughs> this week is young. It's just barely begun. And there is the QQQ. Just took out the left side low. This is that pattern that I call the dreaded H. Um, I'm going to go to the IWM right now. The IWM is the Russell 2000 down two and a half at 199. Mm, not too bad, but not looking too great. I want to also go to gold because gold had a nice rally earlier on. It's holding that rally up 15 at 2039. All the technicals are suggesting, yep, that's fine. They can have a rally, but I'm not sure that it's just more than a bounce of this particular point. I'll go to silver just for the moment. Silver is acting, uh, it's a little bit weak down, 31 cents at 23.18. That 200 period moving average at 23.67 is a big problem. I want to go to high grade copper. It had a fabulous two days, actually up again today. Oh, this is really quite interesting. We've got a mixed market here in the sense that the high grade copper is telling us internationally maybe things are a little bit better than one would expect. Let's go to, um, I just want to go to the bonds right now. Bonds are up 10, 30 seconds. Yeah, trying to establish some kind of a base in which to rally so yields can come down a little bit. We're going to be watching that very closely. And the other thing I want to look at is crude oil. Crude oil at this particular point is down 67 cents. And we've got a call that we've got right off the bat. We've got John in Philly. John, how are you? Hope you had a good weekend. As well, uh, excellent weekend. Uh, how about yourself? Very good. Thank you. Good. Uh, Basil, I wanted to uh, ask uh, your assistance, please, on the NDX 100, the QQQs. Uh, Basil, first two observations. One, uh, we can clearly see, uh, it's plain to see the rally is very extended. Uh, lots of uh, bullish sentiments uh, embedded in the market, and the rally has stalled the past six days. We know that. Uh, number two, some important founder chief executives have been liquidating stock up here. Jensen Wong of uh, NVIDIA has been picking up his Zuckerberg of Facebook. Meta has been doing the same. Uh, Tommy O'Brien uh, last week uh, shared with us how Berkshire Hathaway had begun a uh, program of pairing back its very large position in Apple. We know that Jeff Bezos uh, sold out $6 billion worth of stock of Amazon just in the past six, seven trading days. And very interestingly enough, I only learned this this past weekend, uh, the Bill Gates Foundation liquidated in the past time. And when I say time, it might mean uh, the past 60 days, I'm not sure precisely what, but liquidated 65% of uh, the common equity uh, holdings. So we have all these big, powerful players that are selling uh, to some extent. So now my question to you, Basil, now that the, uh, the QQQ rally clearly has stalled just a bit, is there anything in your work that would give you guidance in making an educated guess how far down this might go? So, John, the, the question and the statements that you're making are all very pertinent to what we're looking at right now. Now, on Friday, I was about to do it, and I just there were other things that were going on in my program, so I skipped it. But I have a list exactly what you're talking about of the sales 
and in Amazon, and just as you say, in many of the major companies, there's been a lot of selling. Now, one of the things I look at is the selling as a proportion of what they have. I wouldn't call it an eye blink, but it is really very, very small to their total holdings. What I am fascinated with is that there were a number of buys with insider buying that it was kind of under the radar, but it was not in these kinds of stocks. So when selling comes by, when it comes, you know, you, you never know when it comes to selling exactly the reason there could be, oh, you know, maybe, you know, a little tuition problem there. So we need to sell uh, 12 million shares. No. I think that selling very, very often is an organized selling, and it is a way of saying, you know, this is unbelievable. I can't believe what's going on. This is, I've got to take some money off. And all the advisors are saying, take some money off. So I take it seriously in the sense that it is a market, a visual that says to you, oh, let's watch this closely because they, they're not taking it off and timing it always in the sense of getting the exact timing, except. When I looked at the dates, they were last week. Some of the Amazon sales were huge, and they were they were last week at the very you know the very uh, the ictus of the market maybe making a turn. So I do take it seriously in that regard. Not so much uh, just because it's a timing thing. It just happens in this case to coincide with what I've been talking about, that everything I'm looking at suggests we should have a consolidation. So let's just set that aside. And it's saying, you know, it could be like I'm looking at the round numbers. Uh, those, those are important. It's what happens afterwards that really makes it important or not. At this moment, it is something to observe. In a week's time, it's something to turn around and say, aha. And then you can say, well, what did they know and how did they know it? But that's not the case. And so let's just look at the chart rather than talk about the other things that are peripheral right now, but could become really important. So the one thing I'm looking at here is we've got a peak F in the Chapman wave in the QQQ at 439.14. There was a gap down, and the gap down almost filled the gap. It might even have touched the, the low of the high, all-time high. That was the high. I may as well do it while we're talking about it. So uh, 439.14 on the 12th of February. The low was 434.65. And what was the high on the bounce? Uh, 434.96. So, yeah, I just filled the gap. Not the point. The point is, and I'll just get this up here because we always have new, new people listening to TFNN. There's a technique that I developed a long time ago where I look at patterns. Now, if I can just move that away and get it. I look at patterns, and there's one pattern that we've been looking at forever, and it's the pattern that where it comes down sharply, it makes an arch formation. It fails at a peak A or a peak B. That's the first peak on the upside or the second peak. And then it takes out the left side low. I, as a joke, back in 20, uh, 2003 or 2002, I called this the dreaded H because it was happening in the gold stocks that had made a major top. And we called them the dreaded H because if it took out the left side low, it could go quite a bit low. But it's just taking it out and it's actually accelerating as we talk. So, John, I don't know if you want to hold on. I'll talk about it, but I know sometimes you like to go back to your work and listen. So I'll, I'll be talking about this particular pattern as we return. The Dow's down 67. Thank you, Basil. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Mm. Hi folks, we're back and let me just finish this up here because John wants to know what am I looking at in the QQQ, this is the Investor QQQ Trust Series, it's the NDX 100 Trading Vehicle ETF. And what I'm looking at here is that there is a very strong chance that, number one, that there is a uh, – we haven't even got a sell signal yet. I have to wait for a lot more to happen to get a sell signal in the daily chart. The nine-period moving average has turned down, but it's still very strong over the 14. It's green. It hasn't turned pink. And to turn pink, I, I think you'd have to go down another three points at least in the QQQ. We saw that at, on the 28th of December when it hit 412.92, it made an arch formation, took out the left side low, and it actually did that double to the downside. In other words, the high of that uh, arch formation to the left side low was equal to the almost equal to the down move that took it to the low of I think it was um, right to January the third or something like that, January the fifth, the low of 395. And you can see what happened for just one day. It went pink. The nine-period moving average went under the 14, and then it flipped up. And it turned up, and it went all the way until right now. It's still green. So this one, because the MACD is much lower and already negative, <clears throat> the stochastic is on the way down, but it's at 66%, not as low as it was before. It's that nine-period moving average, my indicator of last resort, that is still holding well. So this is what I'm looking at. I'll give you the numbers. I don't want to project anything. I just want to tell you what would happen if such and such occurs. If there is a close, uh, the, the 50-period moving average is at um, 415. So let's not go there. That's another uh, 10 points down. We're already down five. But let's just say, if there is a close... And I prefer to call it this week. I'm going to talk rather time and price uh, other than just projections out. I'm saying if there is a move at this particular point into the 423 area, that nine period moving average almost certainly will turn pink. That'll be a negative. That'll say I've got a sell signal in place. It could be almost immediately upgraded to sell mode, but it's a sell signal at least. That's number one. I haven't even got a down arrow, which I usually have on an F. When, it's, when it starts to fail, it's not there yet. <clears throat> That's the daily chart. But the weekly chart I want to emphasize is at peak C, if there's no new high above 439.14 this week. 
that suggests even if we have a, a, a large consolidation in time, meaning three to four weeks, even if we go down towards the 400 area, even the 390s, all the technicals are suggesting that there should still be a higher high to come. And now I can project time and say we're in uh, February. I would put it into the, at the latest, April or March, where we start to move to the upside uh, strongly again into the 440s. That's the way I'm looking at it, just based on the visuals of what I'm looking at in terms of the daily chart. The, month, the weekly chart, the monthly chart is only in leg B. So that's really positive. Okay, so to sum it up, John, if the if the nine period moving average sharply closes underneath the 14, I'd have to say for two out of three consecutive sessions, I don't want this one one bar down and then the rest turns green. Then I'm saying to you, now we can look at time and we can look at price. Now, let's look at the upside. What if we're wrong? And sorry, Gary is waiting. I'll be with you in a moment, Gary, because I want to get to you because you want to look at SMCI. Uh, if there is a rebound, let's just say NVIDIA, everyone's thinking now, NVIDIA, this, I, I've been talking about it saying, is this going to be some kind of a market top if NVIDIA turns down? It's already turned down. It's not been moving like the others the last six sessions. It's been pulling back. It's made the dreaded H. It's underneath the left side low. It's down 38 to 688, had an all-time high of 746.11, a lot of round numbers. So this is Jay saying to me, and I actually have this as leg F in the weekly chart. This is a little unusual, but I can give it an alternate count. I'm not going to for now. I'm just saying I think NVIDIA is going to tell us a lot. So let's just do this because the question was on the QQQ. I have no choice but to include the SMHs. The SMHs are pulling back down almost 6 at 195. I have to put them together. Look, that nine period moving average is still way above the 14 in the daily chart, way above the 14 in the weekly chart. So a lot has to happen. I still see residual strength, those isolated rogue waves that can just suddenly spike to the upside. We might see that in NVIDIA to just really fool everyone. But by Friday, now let me go back to the QQQ. Now I want to talk time and price. If the QQQ instead of being in the middle of this candle, of Friday's candle, about 4.33, it's at 4.25 right now. If it's above 4.33, it stalls any downside move for the moment. That's going into Friday. Friday is closed because I want this on a weekly basis as well. Um, but if it's underneath, um, if the QQQs are actually under 4.20, at that, any close under 4.20, Thursday or Friday says, uh-oh, we've started the consolidation and it could be a, quite a bit deeper and we might be involved in speed to the downside. That's the only thing I wanted to say. Well, let's go to Garo in Newport Beach. Garo, how are you? I'm very good, sir. How about you? I'm very good. Tell me what you're doing. Don't tell me you're short SMCI. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> Garo, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, today I showed that eight hundred dollars, and I'm holding it. And uh, I need your blessing. <laughs> should I get out or should I stay in it? I have only hundred shares. Uh, I want to see what is your major support on it, please. So, Garo, I've been talking about this one for quite some time now. For I've I've got, and this is I'm going to include today's round number seven hundred ninety open zero zero open with an 802.00 high. I mean, that to me is a blatant somebody is getting out of there and they just getting out as quick as they can. I don't think that was buy. And it's trading right now at 723, down 80. I, I'm going to recommend this. Number one is that I, I, I kind of know your style. And I also know that Sometimes you prefer not to take a little bit off. You, you decide if you want, you're going to take a little bit off, you just want to get out. But I'm going to make a suggestion here because you asked me my opinion. Right as we're speaking at 718, because of the speed of your profit, I'm going to say take a little bit off. And if you, since you watch it most of the day, have the rest that you have put into two positions. One is a, a, a trading stop. You're in at 800. It's at 721 right now. 
I give it about because this is exactly at 10.20 in the morning. It's 10.25. This is where you'd expect some kind of a bounce to occur. Um, I, I see if there's an arch formation. I would give... I would put a stop on at least your core position, even if it's the remaining and it's small, you're in 100 shares. I would still um, have a stop of maybe 755, because let's face it, if it gets from here, if it bounces to 750, that's a pretty strong bounce. It means that the sellers are going to be turned into victims because uh, people still keep looking at this as a buy. Hold on a second because there's something else I wanted to talk about and that was how would yes, I sir. use a trading yes, how sir. would I use a trading stop? I'll talk about that as soon as I return. Dow's now only down 14. That's really Walmart helping it. SB's down 33. We'll be back with Dara Newport Beach looking at super microcomputers. Semi in the semiconductor area made a high of 1077. It's trading at 721 right now. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. We're back, and we're with Gower in Newport Beach. Uh, this is in California. We're looking at SMCI. It's the SMCI. So this is what I wanted to go through with you. So right Mr. now, Major, speak. Mr. Major, I, I want to cut you a little bit. I, I, too, I, I just covered it at $720. So I made uh, $80. That was $8,000. I got out of it. I couldn't handle it more than that. <laughs> so, okay. please continue, so, please. Okay. So, what I wanted to say is that 
it's speed that we're looking at. And the only way that um, the lungs can be trapped in the semiconductors, and that's what I, I had a big tussle with over the weekend with myself, and I was, I was showing someone yesterday uh, different, different aspects of what's, what's going on with the round numbers and how the semiconductors are really vulnerable right now to anything. And it's the speed, and that's the other thing. The reason why, I, in a sense, I want you to actually stay in the position, but I know that once you decide that you, rather than mess around with a little bit, yet a little bit, you're either in or you're out. Most of the time, there's nothing wrong with taking a prop. But what I was going to say to you is, you take something immediately, you have a trading stop on part of the rest, and then you have your core position, you just lower the buy stop, and you say, okay, now market, tell me what it is. And one of the reasons why I want you to do that is because in this particular move, um, look at the speed with which it was on Friday. And I remember people had asked me and I said, you've got to take something off. That Your money management is so important. Don't have your ego in it to say, well, don't start rationalizing and saying, it's done this and it's done that. This is unbelievable in three days it goes from the 700s to a thousand this is a not yeah this is yeah. not a small stock this is a pretty it's a heavy stock so you've now given it back in hours because it was part of the day on friday that was turning down and this morning we and uh, we've only been trading an hour and it's gone from 1077 to 702 so how do how do people what happens? You see, this is the thing about my round numbers. I look at this and I always say to myself, oh my, can you imagine? Who, who, where was it? What was the other one? ARM, I think it was a round number at the exact all time high. Yep, there it is. $164 at a round number all time high. What are those right. people that, pay, that bought it at $164 doing right now? They're looking at it and it's trading at 117 ARM holdings, ARM. They are just trapped. Look at the person who paid 135 round number on Friday and then 117. Was that the low? Uh, yeah, I mean, and so this is, the, the speed is the issue. So what will happen, and the question came in here, is this the time to buy the SOXS? Well, I, I'll go through that in a moment, but what I am going to say to you, I have to congratulate you. First of all, it takes it takes a good knowledge of your own technical system and the way you use it to be able to have the courage in a stock like this to go short at $800. It hit 800, 802 round number high. You don't know it could have popped up to 816 in a split second, right? But you did the right thing. You used your technique and you're out. I would, because you've been, you've timed this so well, I would say keep this on your list over the next week as one that you might be able to um, use as a short to the downside because it's got your technique i don't even think only right now has it got the little red dot <laughs> right yeah, right, right. <laughs> so, so you thank so, you sir if you if you so, Mr. congratulations if you, time, if you have the time if you have yes if you have the time if you can go over that coin c-o-i-n i shorted that 300 shares at 175 dollars if you have the time i i have still i have it but i do appreciate it your time and knowledge thank you so much we love you okay I'll, you, I'll get to coin it in a little while but thank you for calling congratulations terrific move thank okay you. folks thank hey, you. we'll get to coin it right now but i needed to show you the bitcoin first so bitcoin Finally got that leg D. I was waiting and waiting for it. And the leg D right now is in the, this is a Bitcoin futures continuous contract. There's your D. What do we look for in the Chapman Wave methodology? You look for a buy signal that gets upgraded to a buy mode, which says you should get to at least, doesn't say you can get to uh, an E, F, or G, just says at least a D. Then other things can happen. You can go even higher. Well, the reason why I was getting nervous over the weekend about the general market is that Bitcoin needed that leg D. The the day the weekly chart, I've got it as a, as a leg F and the leg C in the monthly chart. So looking out, this is still in a, in a buy, big buy mode in terms of the monthly chart. But on the shorter term, my thinking was that it could pull back 
And now I want to see the juggling of Bitcoin. I'll get to coin in a moment. Bitcoin, in terms of Hood, Robin Hood. And look, Hood is trading. Where did it go to? Where did I type that? Hood, Hood, Hood. Try to get it. Oh, there, I typed it on the chart by mistake. Let me type it right here. In this little rectangle, H O O D. Hood is trading leg E, maybe a peak E today. Um, why did I mention that? Because for subscribers, I know I've been talking about it and saying that because of current market conditions, because of the switch from gold to uh, Bitcoin, um, and because the, the Robin Hood market players are always looking for what's moving. That's, that's the function, I think, for a majority of the players. What's moving, I'm in. And that's the way they're looking at it on a very short-term basis. Robin Hood is saying, a little bit toppy here, nothing yet technical in the sense that the 9 is over the 40 and the price is over the 9. MACD is good, stochastics flat at 86%, on balance volume somewhat overbought. Weekly chart, I can even make a case that this is not an E, it's actually a brand new A, but I don't need to. It's had a very good spike. It should be pulling back. Does it fill the gap? It's at 1370 right now. Does it go into the 1230s? I think it does over the next couple of weeks, maybe even two weeks. Um, and now we can go to coin. Why? Because I think that this is going to be the week that tells us that money might come out of Bitcoin. And this is the only way I really see gold moving higher. If that money on a trading basis flows into, it's at the 200 period moving average right now, the GC, up 13 at 2037. If in the next eight, now, well, how many trading days do we have left? February. We are the 20th. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's a 29th, seven. So in the next seven sessions, if there's even a touch of the 2075 level, I would say that that's going to help the MACD and the stochastic, even the on balance and the relative shade. It'll help all these technical indicators improve to push away from the 200 period moving average. And we could have somewhat of a trade in gold in the shorter term. And that would mean that the dollar, I'm coming back to coin, the dollar, which is making an alternate account F slash C, uh, could sort of stall. It doesn't have to break down. I still think that the, look, the weekly chart just turn it's trying to turn positive as we speak so the money is still coming into the dollar so we're going to be watching this very closely i'll be back dow's down 33 s&p's down 35 big difference i'll be right back that's a chapman tiger technicians hour the gold report as a precious metal gold is still king it continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. And yes, uh, uh, thank you for the comments. Uh, yeah, Microsoft, um, I'm anticipating it comes down. So we've got our long position. I mentioned the other day, I probably should be thinking of the short side. I just don't want to mess my thinking up in this particular instance. I can do it on the Dow because we have such long-term positions and very short-term positions, so we can be short there. But um, looking at um, Microsoft, yeah, I, I should have considered puts and absolutely, but I've just been avoiding options for a little while, even though there have been some fabulous uh, option positions that could have been taken. So, so let's just go back to coin. So coins made this little double top uh, just above 190. And back in uh, December, it went to just below 190. Then it turned around a PD, pull back. Um, is this an E? Um, and, or is this what, what exactly would the name be in the Chapman Wave methodology? Now, this is where there's, I, I haven't been able to resolve it in terms of codifying it, other than to say all the years when you've taken out the trough of D and you've had a, a pick, an A to B going to C going to D, and then you've had a major turn down, and then that turn down actually takes out the trough of D. You have to, I always say, you have to consider that you've got a, a brand new position on the upside. It's just, that's the best way to look at it. Um, and you did that. You took out when the coin base, this is Coinbase Global Inc., COIN, trading it down 10 at 169.47. When it made the lower at 114.51 on the 7th of Feb, it took out that left side. This, this technique should, this is the way it should look if I was to codify it in the Chapman Wave methodology. That's A, and that is B. I could make it an alternate account E slash B in a, in a cup formation with a double top, but I, I, I really can't do that. That just defies the actual methodology. So that gives me a, a, quite, quite a story here. So let me just see. I got a little ping. Um, oh, we've got Mark and Ford Collins. So let me go. We'll come back to one before I wrap it up. I'll give a little assessment what I'm looking at here. But let's go to Mark and Ford Collins. Mark, how are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm well. I haven't heard from you for a little while, but I hope things are good. Yep. Yeah, still, uh, still a subscriber. Hey. Hi. Um, thank you. I know. I don't know if you want to talk about this much because I know it's on your on your list, but. Um, I jumped out of one of our positions, um, ENVX, on Friday based on your, your um, okay. which is sent out. And it's having a, get, taken a pretty decent hit today, pre-earnings uh, report after the close. Wondering if it's worth a, worth a shot to jump back in at a certain point or if you just say stay away. <laughs> so this is NOVIX Corporation, silicon, anode, lithium, iron battery, development products, uh, just 3D cell architecture. <clears throat> It's still, you can see in the monthly chart, this is still in that working phase. It hasn't developed a real character for upside momentum. It is more sideways. All the actions in the lower range. Um, it made a cup 
with a second cup, so it's a soft W formation with A33 as the low back in 2023. It running nicely to the 200 period moving average. Reverse went to 893, a higher high. Sorry, yes, a higher low than the previous low. That was a positive. So we we are long a position. And on Friday, I... I thought I read, I, I kept, I went over and over and over in different venues, and most of them said that the earnings report would be on the 19th. Well, my 19th was a holiday. I thought, gee, that's a little weird. And then finally I saw <clears throat> late yesterday, it said, a couple said the 20th. So then I said, oh, it must be the 20th. So what I had done, as soon as I realized that on Friday, I sent out a note saying to subscribers, look, uh, earnings are coming out on Monday. I thought it was Monday. It's, it's rallying a little bit. I wanted to rally a little bit more to take something off, but it's still rallied. Take a little bit off, and then let's see what happens. <clears throat> well, it, we, we took a little bit off, and then it rallied it to the high of the day on Friday. And then I thought, oh, that's interesting. And then the, last night, and even this morning, it was running quite nicely. Um, it, at 12 uh, Into the 1240s, even hit 1255, I think. <clears throat> now it's trading at 11.72, down 52 cents. So let me just do this. So we have a stop in place because we've taken a little bit off. We've got a little bit of leeway here we've, can we, in terms of the stop. I like the action. Now, I was a little disappointed that it rallied into that earnings report. I actually have found over the last week the stocks that were weak into the earnings report came out and had a fabulous move to the upside afterwards. The ones that rallied into the earnings report didn't necessarily do that. So I'm looking at this and I'm saying, okay, earnings are coming in. I think what this afternoon. Yeah, after the close, I think. Yeah, yeah after, I, I think had, I, that's the I last I read was after the gotten, close. Go ahead. Sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So um, I, you know, <clears throat> this is what I would do. I'm just going to tell you that if it starts to rally, even if it gaps up. That 200 period moving average of 1232 is so strong, I think you will have a chance. If let's just let's imagine the best case scenario comes, I, I just don't think that this is still in the development stage. It's just there's so much to be done in the battery architecture. But if they are showing even a modicum of improving in the percentage that it holds, what it retains the energy. Uh, just whatever it is, if there's even a modicum of, uh, of improvement, a lot of automobile companies, a lot of people in the battery environment, that's what they want to see. So to me, that's a, in, a, in a way it's speculation. So you're out of it. I'm just going to suggest if you are out of it, I don't. I wouldn't want you to be jumping in and jumping out, and then all of a sudden the news is lousy, and instead of going to 11.20, it's suddenly the next thing you're looking at 10.70. Because if it goes yeah. to 10.70, I still am quite positive on this looking out, just from the action that I can see. But money management says, don't. you did something that was fine, that made a little bit... I don't think it's worth going into it again because that's the mental okay. attitude is wrong because you're now chasing okay. it because you think you might have missed it. Have yeah. patience. You'll be I mean, able I, to get it. I, I got. I bought it at like uh, 11, what was it, 11.42 okay. to 45 ish and then I jumped out at like 12.15 on Friday, which is a little early. I probably could have taken and gotten a few more. Right. You could have got about it, another but, 20 uh, or 30 cents. 70 cents. Was not not a big deal for a week. I, for a week. <laughs> so Mark, Mark, I think that you did you for you. You did the right thing yeah. for the next move. Okay. You know, there, I don't think in this market environment right now, you need patience. I just don't think yeah. that any jumping in or even you know I, the question about the short. I'm going to. Well, I won't have time. I'll try to do it in the in the brief moment that we have before we go to the end of the show. But I, I'm just saying to you. Let's just say, look, you made a little money. Your money doesn't care where you made it, right? There's not a little note there that right. says, hey, Mark, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> you, you made the money, right? Pat, pat, pat yes. on the back. Look at the next trade. So keep it in mind. It's on my list. It's been for a long time. We did once upon a time have it. Now we've got it again. I, We'll handle the trade. That's all. I'm not going to panic about it. Um, it's okay. holding Sounds quite good. nicely. We'll be back. So, folks, all I'll right, be bye. back. Thank you, Mark. Congratulations on your trade anyway. 
I'll be back in a moment, folks. The Dow's up 11 and the s and coming back a little bit up and down 27. There's a lot to talk about in the remaining few minutes. Um, and I'll go back to Coinbase as well. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So let's just do this. So coin, I'm looking at Ethereum. Uh, I wanted to see how they're all doing. So Ethereum, I, I could call this an E, but I'm pointing it a C just to base it on the channel wave methodology of uh, articulating every. A uh, higher peak alphabetically, sequentially, and that's a, that's it. It's an E in the weekly chart. So to go back to and the, all the technicals are holding very strong. So this is what I'm looking at for coin. 
I think coin, oh, I keep typing in the wrong place. There it is, C-O-I-N. Uh, coin is um, pulling back a little sharper. Um, I would put the 163 to 160, actually even 158 should be, that should be holding. Any pullback further than that says, uh-oh, now it's got time and price. And I might have to consider that is an E and not a B. But in the meantime, all the technicals are holding pretty well. That's your that's your key support. Palantir, I'll do a little more tomorrow. Let's see where it closes and where it's opening again my show tomorrow. Palantir has support in the 22 to 18 area. DKNG, uh, which is uh, DraftKings, we are longest, uh, should have support in the 40 to 39 area. It's showing you 4171 right now. Whoa, that was a lot. Hey, check out my recall daily news here. As far as the SOXS is concerned, you could nibble. That's what I said. But I, I would hold it for another day.